I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on calculus. The question here is find the sum of a and b if the function f of x equals to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx has point of inflection at minus 1, 1. Now let's first try to understand what is point of inflection and then we are going to answer this question. So point of inflection is is a point where concavity changes now you can always find this point by finding the second derivative so at this point the second derivative is either 0 or second derivative does not exist so these are the two conditions so we are given the equation f of x equals to x cube plus ax square plus bx. Let's find the second derivative. The first derivative is 3x square plus 2ax plus b. And the second derivative is going to be 6x plus 2a. Now for the second derivative to be 0, we can equate 0 here and solve for a. So we get 6x plus 2a. Right. So we know that point of inflection is at minus 1, 1. So what we are given here is, let me write down, uh, point of inflection is at minus 1, 1. That means x is equals to minus 1. Okay? So I can substitute x as minus 1. So I get 0 equals to minus 6 plus 2a. Now that can help me find the value for a, right? So we can rewrite and write this equation as 2a equals to 6 or a equals to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Okay? So we know what a is. Now, how do we find B? To find B, since this point is on the graph, we know F of minus 1 is basically 1, right? So if I substitute minus 1 here, I should get 1. Substituting minus 1, we get minus 1 cube plus A times minus 1 square plus B times minus 1. So that is 1 equals to minus 1. A is 3 for us. So we can write this as plus 3A. And here we have minus B. Rather, I mean, plus 3 because we wrote A equals to 3. Right? So if I write A equals to 3, minus 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So, so B equals to minus 1 plus 3 minus 1. Taking this on the right side, B on the left side. So what we get here is that B is equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1. So B is 1. So we get A as 3 and B as 1. Therefore, the sum A plus B is what? So A is 3 plus 1, which is 4. So option C is the right option. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So we have kind of analyzed the equation in different ways. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.